not time for some Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last we left off, just like it says there, we're, we're trying to get back to the camp. We're trying to go back to Urshliku camp to talk to, I think her name is Nibani Maesa. Um, because we have received some information. Oh, we came here. We came here to Kogrun, I think is what it said. Or maybe that's where we are right now. Um, to get three pieces of um, kind of like proof. Oh, what is that over there? That we are the Nerevarine. That, I keep hearing that sound. It sounds like we picked something up. You hear that? I didn't notice this when we first came here. Look at this. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. How nice. They paused the game when I tried to take stuff. It's so nice of them. Yeah, look at that. There's some ruins here. Down over there as well. It's lost. It's pathing is a little messed up right now. It's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, there you are. But yeah, um, we were in that place, and that was pretty much the entire stream, or just about the entire stream last time. It was a very large place. And now we're trying to make our way... Up here? Yeah, I think we're just... Yeah, we went to all those places. We're trying to go... We want to go northwest. So this way. Try not get, and get distracted by those little destroyed homes for, that are there for some reason. And here comes a cliff racer, because why not? There we go. Bum bum. Bum bum. Uh. Huh. Felt like there were actually two things after me. Okay. So northwest, maybe right over this. Yeah. I like that this uh, sword needs to be repaired, but it's still actually hitting and doing some damage. This was a lucky find. For sure. Although you can tell it's definitely not at 100% because it's taking three hits instead of two on those cliff racers. We're also running out of stamina. So we'll talk to Nambani real quick and see what else she has to say. Uh, we're trying to fulfill these seven prophecies. And this one I believe was the third. Uh, now we just have to like go like straight west. Hmm. Get out of here. You too. They never stood a chance. Is that them there? Not quite. Oh, remember this? 
some some dude is buried underneath there. Oh, there! I bet this is no. Is that the tomb? That took me like a million years to find. Nope, that's the Lando one. All right. I'm gonna take some trauma root, um, so we can. Well, I'm gonna start to harvest it more often. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we can uh, combine them with racer plumes and make some levitation potions. Um, not necessarily to use, but since we know what the combination is, should help us um, with our alchemy. You want some? Come here. Oh, I'm all I'm all out of stamina. I'm like, man, I'm just not very good. Trauma. I say trauma. Pretty sure it's trauma. We're gonna let our uh, fatigue catch up a little bit here. Wow, this takes a long time. You know what? We we probably do have some restored fatigues, actually. There. Cool. Oh, another shulk. Whoa. I feel like I haven't fought an Alit in a while. Alright, we're like right next to the camp. Mr. Goat, one day I will find you. Yay! Alright, one thing um, we're going to do is that we're actually going to do some alchemy before we go talk to the lady. Uh, just so we can kind of get that out of the way before I forget. Okay. So what? It's racer plumes. And trammer root. Okay. And then, uh, what is it? Saltrice. And Quama eggs. Right? Oh, I don't think I have any. Darn. How about this? Nope. Not ash salts either. Trained personality? No, thanks. Almost was going to use those, and we need those for um, this quest. Get it. Let's just go. Uh, we'll get it. Almost forgot. It's been a while. We hadn't saved yet. Wise woman's yurt. Hi. Uh, let's. Seven trials. Wait, he will tell me of the third trial? Hold on.
Uh, third trial. Uh-oh. Maybe I have to call, I have to talk to Suma Tool? Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's go talk to Suma Tool. What is this? Uh... Hi. Yes, if you have brought me the three tokens of the... Okay, this is the person we had to talk to. I can speak to you further of the third trial. I'm impressed. These three tokens you have brought me, you may keep them. You have passed the warrior's test, and I will give you the secret of the third trial. In caverns dark, Azura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. This is the third vision, and you must go to the cavern of the incarnate, a place called Azura, or a place sacred to Azura, and look for the moon and star. The secret of the cavern of the incarnate is set is set in a riddle. Okay. The, uh, the eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door and the star is the key. This riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes and you shall find the way. Seek the cavern of the incarnate. Gain the moon and star and bring it to Nibani Maesa. Take with you my blessing and the blessing of our tribe. Malibu Adaman's belt. Ooh, cool. Okay. Uh, journal has been updated, but, but could you, okay. We have to go to the Cavern of the Incarnate. You can't tell me how to get there? Instead of talking to everybody else? I think that's what he wants me to do. Cool, alright, so we got some, uh, sort of new belt. Restore health, two points for 30 seconds on self, and fortify agility. This one's... this one's better, though. <laughs> I, I, I feel like it's better. This one's only worth 95 as well. Ooh, we're... We're almost over-encumbered. Oh, it's because of all this stuff. Alright, we need to make our way back to Balmora. Hi, can you tell me where this, um, place is? Eye of the Needle. This token of our tribe, M Malibu Adaman's Belt, is proof of Sulmatul's blessing. Let me think. Perhaps you mean the needle. It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance to the valley is marked by Arian's teeth. Two tall rock spires. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Valley of the Wind. There are two valleys side by side on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The westmost valley is called Dry Camp Valley. The camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Dun A. Ahe caverns are also there. The Valley of the Wind is the eastmost valley. It runs long and straight south between Arian's teeth and climbs towards Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the east along the coast, past Betholand, a Dwemer ruin, and just past Zerganopol, a Daedric ruin. Turn south. Okay. I think I know where Zerganopol is or whatever. Alright, so it's somewhere over here? Northeast. That's a long way. Okay. Do I know you. Uh, you just told me a bunch of information. I sure hope you know me. Arian's teeth. Our two stone. Okay. Oh, our two uh, stone pikes at the mouth of Valley of the Wind. The Valley of the Wind runs through, runs south from the sea in the northeast of Vardenfell. East of Dormer Bothound. East of Didric Zerganopol. 
We stay away from the valley. The wind, the winds howl, and the spirits are always awake. Derelith ancestral tomb is. Oh, I think we've been there before. Is in this valley. It is foolish to disturb the spirits in their resting place. I think I've already been there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm thinking it's somewhere right around here. Cool. Uh, you know what? Is it you? Nope. Zabamund? Hmm. One of these one of these people Who is it? Someone who sells stuff here, I know it. Ah, oh, okay, you do. You have to get rid of the moon sugar. I was going to say, I'm like, is this where I dropped my my skooma? But it must not have been. Excuse me, one second. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, okay. If I drop my moon sugar, don't, don't take it, okay? I don't think I have any skooma on, on me, do I? Uh, humble items for sale. 200 gold, that's all you have? Here, take those. 202, I will take 200. There. You may speak. Oh my gosh. My moon sugar landed on that. Alright. Uh, if we make our way to Balmora, we can sell that uh, moon sugar. Okay. Uh... Let's, um... Reward amulet. No. I want to use. That. Come on. Our alteration or whatever it is is so low. All right. We're, we're already. Nissus. Okay. What are you doing? Speak, traveler. What are you doing over here? I'm Ashuma Nude Matlerbib, and you're in the village of Nissus. If there's some sp specific place you're looking for, I can probably help you. Or if you just, if or if you're just killing time, I'd be happy to share a little more with Nor or swap some latest rumors. How about we barter a little bit? You have 700. That's better than what most have. Uh. Hmm. We don't need three of these. No, two. <laughs> I don't buy that item. Of course you don't. Ah, do you actually have bolts though? Also, I need I need hammers and such. Hmm. Which one do you got? Yeah, I'll buy it. <gasps> oh no. Crap. Are journeymen's better than apprentice? Quality point eight. No. Journeyman's is better. Well House of Dagoth Cup. You don't like that either. Um Well This is embarrassing. Do you like these? Can always cancel, I guess. Also, what we could do is start repairing. OK, 
Okay, that's not bad. 427. That's getting better. <sighs> Maybe we'll just have to hold on to everything else we got here. Steel battle axe. Oh, this is your marketplace. Dude, I was totally about to steal from you. Should have said something. Let's check to see what that is. What is this? La Samsi Cave Dwelling. That was a cafeteria. Nice. What are you doing? I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Uh, why are you standing here? Why? Why? Why you do this? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What's going on here? Are you friendly? Nope, you're not. Hmm. Oh, there's two of you. Really? Wow. <laughs> it must be pretty low level. Let's rest for until healed, I guess. Hey, Shadow. How goes things, man? How goes Monday? It's trapped. Yo. What this? Left Gauntlet of the Horny Fist. Uh, that's a trapped, right? First try. Second try. Oops. Locked. Open up. <laughs> it's only 35. Shouldn't be this difficult. Here we go. What is this? Heart wall. Is this magicka? What is this? Like. Oh my gosh, it's 24 pounds. Three hundred and sixty-nine gold. Wow. In 190 gold? Wow. All right. Ugh, only, only I could carry more stuff. Let's go this way. This is trapped. Okay, and it's locked. Hmm. Go, it's just biding my time until Friday when Monster Hunter Rise comes out. Ah, dude, that's Friday? Oh my gosh. Guess that kind of makes sense. They've started doing a lot of releases on Fridays. Um, things used to always release on Tuesdays. What is this? What? What was that business? That's a bone. Hey, knife. How you doing? What you up to? How was your weekend? Oh, I, I hear something walking around. It's probably going to be bad, isn't it?
What are you doing up here? Do you... Do you not mind that I'm here? What? Hi. Baladus Demnivani. What up, Lander? Why do you disturb me? I am Baladus Demnivani, and this, Arvis Drellin, is my home. Why have you come here? I don't know. I just happened to, like, click on it. Just for an Outriders demo. Sweet! Uh, did, did you see that it's going to be on Game Pass? So you don't even have to purchase it? Well, Game Pass for console? Brand new game. Brand spanking new game, and it's going to be right on Game Pass. Uh, Baladus? Speaking, hurry up. <laughs> Disappearance of the dwarves? Some words should be shared only by friends. Nissus? Everyone here leaves me alone. That's how I like it. House Delvani? It's one of the great houses we value talent, knowledge, and initiative. Perhaps you would like to join the House Delvani? Moon and Star. The enchanted ring called Moon and Star, or one uh, one clan under Moon and Star, as the Ashlanders call it, was forged for the hero Nerevar by one of the Dwarmer sorcerer priest Kagranax Smiths and blessed by the Daedra Lord Azura. The ring gave Nerevar supernatural, supernatural powers of persuasion and an indisputable proof of identity, since any other who tried to wear the ring would be killed instantly. Okay. Sithis. Alteration. The pig children. Alteration is now 8. Nice. Restoration is now 27. Yo, this place is it. I'm going to hold off uh, till I get an Xbox Series X. Oh, cool. Is that going to be soon? Um, cause I don't know if you saw as well, there's actually a patch that came out for the X that, um, allows Skyrim and Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 to all run at 60 frames a second. Oh my gosh. You didn't mind that I just took that? Dude. Extravagant Sapphire Amulet. Whoop. No! Oh my gosh. Doesn't mind me taking the gold, but if I take the amulet, forget about it. What if I crouch? What if I crouch and did that? Would you mind? Oh no! The stuff in there changed. Ah. Okay. Doesn't mind me taking the two gold. All right. I bought all this stuff. Vampire dust. Cerdilic brandy. Oh my gosh, this stuff is worth so much. I, I, I have Grandmaster stuff, but... Wow. Alright, well, thank you, sir. I don't know why he had monsters in his house. Well, he didn't have monsters. I guess he had a rat. Or a couple rats. No, one rat and like a couple skeletons. I don't know why he'd have skeletons in, a, in his house. Right there. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay. That was it. Apparently this guy's got a really big house all to himself. Although, oh, 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 he has a guest room. What? 
What the rat in it? Summoning room key? Nani? Over cucumbered. Okay. Uh. Ba bum bum. Ba ba bum bum. Ba da bum. I also got some sort of pimple on the eyes, on the eyes out of my eyelid. And it's, ow! That doesn't, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like it hoits. Hmm. Maybe try and make something. about now? Nope. I'm one pound over. Trying to use like everything that's like, oh, this is not a good uh, resource to try and use. So that's fun. Just don't touch it. Latest update for the beta released a few days ago for Rise and I and a few buddies have managed to fight the new flagship monster. Oh, the um What's it called? Like Maladon or something like that? Cure poison. That's a good one. Oh, it's locked. Magnamalo, that's it, or something, yeah. Yep, it's stupid strong. Um And that's a brand new monster, right? That's like never before seen. Wait, there was something else in there. Whoops. Oh man, raw ebony. Nope. It's too ebony. Tar shield. Nope. Oh, it's trapped. Whoopsies. What has this guy been doing here? Nice one. Um, that is not what I meant to do. Okay. Oh my gosh, 65? Am I going to be able to do this? Wow. I was going to say this thing must be worth a, a ton if I get it open. Okay. It's a prison. And similar mechanics to Nergigante and the fact that its body parts get affected with his power. And if you attack those parts, it slows down his next super move. Oh, cool. I, I think I've seen it. Thank you. We're good lock pickers. Now, if we can only become a good... What are you doing? What are you doing? I just went in there and killed stuff and you're just looking at a door all right I guess there's no silt rider here I feel like I've been here before and I was like oh there's no silt rider it threw a Rathian at us 
like it threw an actual Rathian at you? Yo, is that a Silt Rider? <gasps> it is! Hold on. Let's save before taking the eight gold that's in here for some reason. Whoop! Yep, I knew someone was gonna have a problem with random loot just out in the world. You know what? We're gonna try it crouching and see if they don't mind. Yo, nine gold this time. Yeah, they they don't mind when when you crouch. Apparently, that's that's not a problem. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Just crouch in plain sight, and it's all and it's all good. Gotta be kidding me. It jetted into the air with its hellfire, grabbed the wrapping, and blasted it at us. That's cool. Um, do you know how much content is is gonna be in the game right now? Is it like? In comparison to how much content was in World, like, like how long do you think it's going to be? Oof. Oh, wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. Small chest. Excuse me? No clue for sure, but there are going to be a lot of monsters from World's roster and monsters from older games as new ones. So kind of like what they did with, um, with World. Where they just did, did kind of that compilation type deal, like you, like you said. Darn it, I knew that was going to happen. Let's, um... Definitely salt trees, and I think I have one egg. Cool. What? No! I was crouching. Uh... I was crouching. I was, uh... Wretched thief. There we go. No! Wait, oh, it's because I have to use this. And it failed again. Nice. All right, bring me to Bomora, please. If possible. Uh. We make a special trip just, just for you. For you. Oh no. Are they dupl They're duplicating again. What was it? Ah, that's it. All right. Um so this Aha. We learned a Do thing the other day. Something? Okay, and then I was also told that it works on these as well. 
Oops. Oh no. Okay, it's not working. Du duplicate myself. One of me is already too much to handle. Fresh game. It's like multiplicity. <clears throat> hey Steve, I like pizza. Palm record. Let's go get rid of the moon sugar before I forget that I put it on the ground. Talk to Revere over here. How much money you got? 600. 463 right off the bat. Nice. Goodbye. We've got some really heavy items that are worth a ton. Go ahead. I'm listening. How much money you got? 700. Brendo, you're going to need more than that. Hmm. Well, that's kind of a problem. Would you like this House Dagoth cup? 160? Don't smile at me like that. That's robbery. No. Palm brokers. Okay. Outfitter. Wow, look at how many are here. Hi. Do you actually have a decent amount of, of gold? Not really. That thing weighs two pounds? Hmm. Alright. Bookseller? Yo, do I have some books for you, actually? Not you. You! You look like you love to read. How about you love this Nerevar moon? Eh, I should probably keep that, actually. Okay. I thought maybe I had more. Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Let's see. Oh, Outlander, did you want something? Uh, what you got? Nope. Harder. Man, you're just never gonna have bolts on you again, are you? That's too bad. You've also only got 2,000 gold on you! Like, what are you supposed You've to- got my ear, let's hear it. What are you supposed to do with all this expensive stuff you find? No, I haven't gotten the code book yet. 
You know what? <laughs> I wonder if we could steal just by crouching down in front of her. Because apparently they don't mind if you take things but it, as long as you crouch. Oh, you know what? I was told to talk to some of the sleepers. Your new face, what I can tell you about. Um, how about... Is it latest rumors? Real and Halala? <laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, little advice, little secret. Okay, maybe you're not one of them? I was told that if I find those people that usually stop you and say, hey, we're, we're a sleeper, if you talk to them after taking out um, one of the Dagoths that we came across, they reward or like you get you get reputation or something for the town. That's how I like it, bold and direct. Oh yeah. Um, I like you. She likes me. Where is the code book, lady? Don't move. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I was looking for the code book. Dang. Sorry. Well, this is a grand day. Greetings. Oh, easy. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, the gang is all here. Yo, I just killed your boss. Do you really want to come at me? My crime has been reported? Dude, I'm taking out the thieves guild. There, hey, we got the code book. <laughs> Maybe our our sneak skill isn't high enough. I don't want to have to take out the thieves guild in order to complete this. What's the code to activate the water purifier? Um, apricot. Are you kidding me? I just got it. She had no idea and I stole from right in front of her. All right, we did that. All right. <laughs> um, I think I'm in the wrong area for what I wanted to do anyways. But look at that. We've had that quest since the beginning of the game. Were you a sleeper? Creating citizens on Madrilla uh but welcome to Walmara. Wait, how about if I say Dagoth Er? Nope. Murderer's description. That could be Thanel and Velas at at the council club over by the Silt Rider. I, I talked to that person and they swear that they didn't do it, but I'm pretty sure it is them. Do you want something? Yes, you murdered somebody. Let's barter first, though. Nope, you only got 500. What good are you? Just a coincidence, I assure you, Nine Toes is the real murderer. Oh, 
Or of his dren? Me, no, you are mistaken. It was at Argonia, Nine Toes. No, it wasn't, though. What a pain. I haven't figured out exactly... Lucky Lockup? Exactly what it is that they want us to do with that quest there. Because we know it's him. But he tells us it's Nine Toes. We went and talked to Nine Toes, and they're like, it definitely wasn't me. And also, Nine Toes didn't fit the description. So. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, you're listening. Good job with the listening. All right, let's go drop off all of our expensive stuff that I don't know what to do with. Um. Okay. <laughs> I like how they put all this stuff on the dead on the dead body. Like it like it matters to put that on them. I have 15 of these amulets. Wow. They're worth 2,000 a piece. These books are so heavy. Ah. Uh. this hair shirt oh these amulets weigh like a pound each huh it's gonna buy this at a used video game store but they didn't have it saw it there two weeks before uh what what were you gonna buy there oh you mean what you mean morrowind Some scallywag got it. <laughs> I'm telling you, get Xbox Game Pass. It's it's on there. Uh, your first month is a dollar. I feel like I should hold on to those, but at the same time, I don't know if I should. Always running out of room. Thank you for holding all my stuff, Mr. Raylan. So helpful. Uh, now we need to talk to the Fighters Guild. I can't believe this took us that long. You know what? Our steel skill, though, was oh, really low at the beginning of the game, so... Here's the book. Glad to see that code book, Casual. Hand it over and I'll get you your payment. Give code book. 50 septums. The guild needs more like you. Obedient and efficient. If you want more orders, just ask. Helavian Deslay owns one of our... Owes one of our clients to you on septums. Delivered Desla's debt money to me. Helvian Dessel runs a quarter club in Saran. She owns Manos Orth Othrilith, one of our clients owes. Uh, bring this money to me and I'll let you keep half of it. All right. Well, this is a great really like the physical day. disc, so, um, so you're willing to wait? What's your story? Cool, cool. <laughs> I got stuck there for a second. All right, so... Hmm. We actually have to get all the way up here. <laughs> all the way, like, almost part, like, halfway through the, the map. Now, she just told us about someone in Saran that's all the way over here.
I feel like we don't need to do that right now, though. But a digital game once, it wasn't fun. The game itself wasn't fun. Northeast. Let's see, so maybe we travel to... Aldrun? Wait, but then we have to go all the way around. You know what? Maybe we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. We'll, we'll just walk there. We'll just walk there. Paid for it. Hit confirm, then nothing for about two minutes. That's odd. Did it actually add to your library? Because even if you don't download it right then, you still have it. I like the sound of the rain in this game. It's very calming. That tree looks like it would come alive. Crazy rat! Checked my bank and it took the money so I really panicked. That's odd. And it just popped up and it was downloading. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Um, even with the stuff you get from like games with gold and stuff, it starts downloading as soon as you say like, you know, get for free or whatever it is. But I usually end up canceling the download. And but I still have the game. Like it's like, oh, it's still yours, even if you didn't download it right now. You know what? I put a bow away and I probably should have taken it. I don't think these are good for anything. Yeah, I, pre I, I pretty much try to buy everything, uh, physical. I mean, I mean digital these days. The only the only time I buy did uh, anything physical is if it's some sort of special edition. But I have to like really want it. <laughs> so like last year, I bought the Final Fantasy VII remake special, like, cult collector's edition. Which was cool. It came with like a little art book, um, soundtrack. Uh, I think I think it was a steel book as well. So like for me, it was like yeah, it's one of my favorite games. So well, it was a remake of one of my. Uh, I shouldn't say that. It's based off of one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Usually does that, but not uh, the only time I got a game digital. So I said no more of that. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's two of the same lady. Wave breaker. You break... You're... I've had enough of you. Oh, yeah, you definitely need to go. <laughs> a good bot. The game was Batman Arkham Asylum in City. Was it the, um... The Arkham Collection? Is that what they call it? Which it would be nice if, um... They, uh... Would do, would do the whole entire FPS boost on, on those games. Those games are fun. I actually streamed those years ago. 
at some point I'd, I'd like to try and play through them again. City? Um, I think it might have just been that I overloaded myself with Batman at the time. Because City, had, I think I had a lot more content left. Like, it was like a Catwoman expansion and all this stuff. But I was ready to move on. <laughs> so I never, I, I never played the Catwoman stuff and I heard it was pretty good. It didn't come with night. I think now they they have a set though that comes with night. In in Dalin Ancestral Tomb. I've never played night and I've never played Origins either. I tried to play Origins and my uh, laptop couldn't run it. Who is this? Golden Saint? Hey. What? Oh man, get right. Hey. Oh man, in a Daedra Lord too? Whoa. This place is no joke. Wait. This guy had a a drow club. Gonna be over encumbered again. Another ebony short sword. I gotta take it. I have to. Scroll of Monarape. I'm hoping that that's how you say it. Expansions for City were short? Really? The Catwoman is supposed to be played while you play as Batman. Oh, really? I never did, and I made it through the whole entire game. And the Robin one was short, but good. Uh, the Robin one, was that for night? I guess I'd never been here. Selen's Mist Slippers. Scuttle? What is this? The Book of Dawn and Dusk? Thing is Herbaware. No, it's for City? Oh. <gasps> There's someone behind there. I think it's an Atronach. Yeah, get wrecked. Nice. Nice. That's locked. Was that a back attack? Game is so dark. I hope Oblivion Oblivion isn't as dark. It's a really good song. Alright, so there's this one area over here. Oh I took off my pants. There we go. One for one. Catwoman 1 is, is like three missions that take place during Batman's story. The game will switch over. Oh gosh, it didn't for me. Oh gosh. Storm Atronach. Wow. We are OP! Trapped. Trapped.
Okay. Bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada da dum. Ring of Wildfire. Expensive ring. Crying ring. Oops, did that actually work? My gosh, I'm hitting all of the wrong buttons. I play like a different game for one day and I forget exactly how this game works. I would play night, but I don't want to do tank missions. You know, have you ever tried out the game? Because something I've been noticing is that people love to complain. And the best way to find out if you're going to like something or not is to read up on a lot of reviews or take a look at some gameplay on Twitch or something like that or on or on YouTube and then just and then make a decision that way if you think you'll find it fun. Um, Arkham Knight you can find pretty darn cheap these days and I I watched some of the gameplay. I don't know like what's going on in the game. But it doesn't look bad especially when the person I watched playing it was like really good at like you can launch out out of the tank and then you glide wherever it is you want to go so he had no problems with it but a lot of times reviewers aren't necessarily the best gamers and if they have trouble with a the mechanic they'll complain and <laughs> that'll be it for that game it's like nope it's awful it's like well no maybe you're just not really good at it you know so because I just feel like that game got a lot of garbage for mm, the wrong reasons. It got a lot of garbage on PC, and that made sense. It was because the port was so bad. Uh, the game would barely run well on a really strong system, and that was just because it wasn't optimized well. It was basically like an Ubisoft game. <laughs> Whenever they first re release it, it's just not well optimized because they want to sell those copies on console because you'll sell a lot more and then fix the pc version later after you have enough people who, who complain and then you're like all right fine we'll do it but anyways yeah like i mean you can find it pretty cheap if you want give it a try i think it looks cool i know i'll be playing it at some point uh i own it on pc a lot of the problems were fixed um so I'm hoping that it'll run okay. And then also, my PC specs are way over what it asks for now. So, I think it's been like, what, four or five years since that game came out? But yeah, like, these, these days especially because there's so many places where you can... Oh, what the heck? You can get information from and not have it just be someone spewing it out it's actual like visual um you know you can make a decision that way we live in a very in interesting time where information gets from place to place really quickly i have in the tank missions are repetitive and it's like okay from from what i've seen i i don't think they're that bad um have you ever played Mass Effect 1? Because if you tell me what I... Like, if... So, if you've played Mass Effect 1, what did you think of the Mako sections? Or the Mako, whatever they called it in that game. Paid, paid reviewers? Well, then that's why you should go to Twitch and watch some gameplay. Because I can guarantee you, especially these days, Batman Arkham Knight, there ain't no one getting paid to play that game. <laughs> uh, there's usually if there's ever sponsored streams for games it's usually right before release or during like an alpha or beta or something like that and right at release time and then after that um, usually like the marketing money is gone by that point for the company but there's a lot of different ways to um, to get information if you're if you're concerned about people who get paid for reviews, um, a person I trust on YouTube is uh, ACG. 
Uh, so follow them if um, you want like a reviewer who's really good about it, about his reviews, and uh, you can trust them. I don't know if they ever did one for Batman Ar Arkham Knight because I don't know if they've making, been making content for that long. But uh, yeah. <laughs> But then again, I don't really buy many games at launch, and if I buy something at launch, I did my research. Um, it's usually something that I know I'll 100% like, just because I am wary of spending money on games just because it can get out of hand. And I gotta do things like feed my family, make sure that they have a home. <laughs> so, I'm very, very careful when I make a purchase. Like, last year was a weird year. I can't believe I bought a PC and two new consoles. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> like, I was just like... Well, let's hope we don't lose our jobs. <laughs> you ask fellow gamers you meet? You can? But it's just... <laughs> like, that's why I'm saying, like... Gameplay speaks more volumes than what anyone can because what everyone likes is absolutely different or is like different from person to person. So like I may love this and some people may be like, what? Like, dude, that looks awful. And it's like, well, it's old, but I like old games, you know? And then someone might be like, well, I like old games. I want to buy this. And they try it out and they're like, this sucks. And it's like, well, you know. We both like old games, but it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to like every single one. Like for Gears of War 4 and 5, when I went back and played Gears Co-op, the other guys I meet all, all said it sucks. See? And, I mean... But that's all... What is it? Subjective? Because there's things that I don't like, but there's but other people like it and it's like well there's obviously something about it that makes people like it it should, just may not be for me I mean it's been more make your family happy <laughs> live your life to the fullest think about the consequences after <laughs> never played Mass Effect okay see like I love Mass Effect but I know it's not for everybody especially Mass Effect 1 and that's my favorite one and it's what would be considered super janky. All right, this is this is this is insane. Okay, uh, all right, Cliff Racers, chill. But uh, so what I was talking about in Mass Effect One was um, you have like this like rover, and it's called the Mako. And I personally liked it, but people, but some people hated it because they didn't like the way it controlled. They didn't like how it was kind of slow and made made the game take a little longer. Like I liked it. I I liked going on the different planets and stuff. And the thing controlled like it was super like jumpy and stuff. I liked it. I don't know. There was a charm about it, and it was different at the time back in two thousand what seven. You don't even know what it's about? It's a sci-fi RPG. Yeah. Um let's see we gotta we gotta deal. Um, have you ever played Dragon Age? I think you said you might have played Dragon Age. If you played Dragon Age, it's from the same developers. All right, we gotta... Wait, that... We gotta go all the way around here. Is the only way to get there from over there? Is it like the Outer Worlds? No. Nope. The Outer Worlds is more Fallout... Mainline Fallout as we know it now. Um, Mass Effect is more... It's, it's like squad based, but it's not multiplayer. I don't know what other games are like it. Never play Dragon Age? Okay. I think Dragon Age is similar to it in that it's squad based. 
Um, but Dragon Age is kind of like, like so, like a uh, sword and shield type of fantasy. The Outer Worlds is such a good looking game. Uh, I thought I, I don't know. To me, everything about the Outer Worlds that I had played and seen, it was very much a good attempt at a new, it was just a, to me it was good. It was a good attempt at a new IP. I'm interested in what they're gonna do for the Outer Worlds 2 because the Outer Worlds 2, they got Microsoft money. And uh, I think that that's gonna be really interesting. Because the Outer Worlds also was not what I expected it to be. I expected a Fallout New Vegas 2, which it's one of those things where I've watched a lot of trailers and stuff for it, so it got me thinking, Fallout New Vegas! And it wasn't that. It was, uh, I played it but didn't finish it because my PC ran it so terribly that I couldn't finish. Underworld 2 is going to hopefully be amazing. Yeah. And I'm hoping that, you know, if if their, if their vision was to make something like a, like a Fallout type game, I'm, I'll be interested in that. I want to play the Outer Worlds. Like, I want to finish it. But what I had played was, I think at the time I said it was, it felt generic. It was good, but generic. Hmm, how the heck? Do I have to go all the way around this? Yeah, and then I heard it was short too. Which... I was surprised because I'm like, oh, then it's not really like an open world game. It's kind of like linear-ish. And I'm like, I, I don't mind that. But again, I set expectations in my own mind of what I wanted it to be. Um, which is one of the reasons why I try to stay away from knowing too much about a game that's coming out. Because then nothing is ever going to hit my expectations. Um, it's kind of what killed movies for me. I like movies, but I don't go crazy for them anymore. Because what I used to do back in the day, I was one of those people who every day I would wake up in the morning before I go to work. And I would go on IGN and like entertainment sites and stuff and read about like the movies that, that were coming out. I would know exactly like when they were coming out, the ones that I was interested in. And I would learn everything I could about them. And I would get this expectation in my head and <laughs> probably half the time it was just like, Oh no, this movie was not what I thought it was going to be, or it wasn't as good. They released a new, uh, new DLC. Yes, they released one last week, um, which sounds cool. It's a it's a murder mystery. <laughs> and then they also had the Paralong Gorgon DLC, um, not not too long ago. Yeah. I mean, I'll definitely be playing it. I don't know when, but I know I want to play it and finish it because there were things that I liked about it, but it felt very generic. But at the same time, I'm like, this was probably a proof of concept for them, and it probably helped them get purchased by Microsoft. And then who knows what the next one's going to be like. It's probably going to be huge. Yo, Skillshock, what's going on? How you doing? You ready for Monster Hunter? Did I ever play Far Harbor? Oh, yeah, I played everything in uh, Fallout 4. Yep. And Far Harbor was great. Far Harbor was probably my favorite DLC. And my second, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I think it was my favorite one. And then my second favorite one was the Auto Automaton one. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> it was really silly. Nuka World, I enjoyed, but I think the game bugged out at the very end, which kind of soured me to it. Um, 
and I didn't really like the way it ended. I was kind of like, oh, we are not going to live in peace. <laughs> and I felt almost like it was too big. Felt like it was almost too much. Felt like it was good. But just after playing the two that I mentioned, I was kind of like, oh, I was a little let down. Do well. Uh, yes, my body is ready. And so is Shadows, apparently. <laughs> Very excited. That quest with the that quest with the robo brains was cool. Yeah. Oh, um was that that one? Was that the automaton one? The the thing I remember about the automaton was the main villain of it um was kind of silly like it was some girl who was like making herself out to be super duper tough. And it was all in what I remember is that it had like an actual boss fight. Which was unexpected. And then the quest with the rubber brains, I think, was from was that from Nuka from Nuka World? No, that's from Far Harbor. What are we doing today? We passed in uh, some proof that we are the Nereverine, um, and then of course they're like, "Well, you have to pass these seven trials of the seven prophecies." So, um. Now they want us to go to some cave that's a, or I say cave. It's a place that's supposed to be somewhere around here. So we're trying to make a way around, but unfortunately all this is surrounded by mountains here. So we got to make it, they say it's somewhere around here. Say it's like south of Zerganopal. It's right around here. Now I just need to find a way in. Uh, you can get a mod. Where the Minutemen take over Nuka World, best ending I can think of. <laughs> you know what? That's actually true because that's who I sided with. And that's one of the things I actually wasn't crazy about Fallout 4 is that I honestly didn't feel very connected to any of those factions. I, I kind of wish that they gave me an option how in New Vegas you could just be on your own and not side with anyone. And they didn't do that. Oh, wait, what? I haven't been here, okay. I saw the mini map on the bottom right and I'm like, have I been here? Yes, the seven trials. <laughs> to prove that I am the one, that I am Neo. Okay, lady, or I don't, whatever. Lady, guy, lady, gaga. You started with the railroad? I didn't like the railroad. The railroad, I felt, was very rude. <laughs> so that's that's kind of how I decide uh, who I go with is whoever's nicest to me. Um, I feel I I feel that's the best way to go. Well, there's lots of bone lords. Um, yeah, I. I tend to go with whatever side I feel is is the nicest. And then I also try to consider like silver spear. Try to consider who who's doing like if they're doing something that's obviously wrong. It's like, okay, well then you're nice, but you're doing these things that are awful, so <laughs> Ruder than the Brotherhood? Uh, no. Kind of on the same line, really. The Brotherhood is a bunch of jerks. In that game. And that and that made me sad, too. Because the Brotherhood of Steel is cool. Like, it's like, oh, yeah. You know? Power armor and all that stuff. And they're super strong. And they got these weapons. And then they just ended up being a, lot, a big lot of jerks. They were... They were they came across as bullies. And I was just like, oh, okay, I don't like that. I don't know. You know, they they made the decisions that they did as far as, like, the development of the game for it, but I wasn't crazy about it, but I like the game. You know? I don't think it's the best Fallout, but I think it's a good game.
I'm excited to go back to 3. Fallout 3 was one of the games that got me back into gaming back in 2011, December of 2011. Um, that's that that's when I started gaming again, when I like taken a break from it. Um, so Fallout 3 holds a special place in my heart and I never played the DLCs. So I'm looking forward to doing another playthrough. And this time I'll do it on PC. And Fallout 4 was my first Fallout, so I have no dis so I have a disdain for them. <laughs> Yo! So easy. What is this? Expensive extravagant ring. Mine. Never played or watched uh, watch Fallout, so I'm eager to see a future stream. Nice! Um, they're similar to this. Especially Fallout 3 kind of has, like, this look. It's just mostly greens and, and like, blues. <laughs> Since everything is made out of steel. But it's kind of the same I idea, where it's like an open-world RPG, just in a different type of setting. Ah, crap! Didn't mean to take that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put that back. Uh, boom. On, <laughs> and I threw it on the ground. Gotta be careful with what I'm picking up. Hey, what are you doing here? You used to be a mage, apparently. Post apocalypse, yes. Yep. And what's cool is that in Fallout 4, you actually get to see it happening. That was like the first time you got to see it happen. The DLCs are fun for three. The Fallout 3 DLC, you'll meet Feral Ghoul Reavers. Do we not meet those in like Fallout 1 or 2? There's so much fun. Uh, I don't think I went up. Yeah, we have to actually finish Fallout 2, which Fallout 2 is kind of like what they used to look like back in the day. Ashland's region. Oh, that's where I came in from? Was I done here? More or less. <laughs> uh... I'm still trying to go northeast. We're doing our best. All right, who who wants them? Who wants it? I also want to play um, Stalker at some point, and then I also want to play Metro Exodus, or Metro franchise, not just Exodus. Um, I've never played either one of those, but those are kind of, in like, I think they inspired what Fallout eventually came, or became. I could be wrong. Is this a cave? Man, this... This red screen stuff really messes with my eyes. I am not going to miss this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I guarantee you've never seen a ghoul like the Reavers. Now, when you say Reavers, it makes me think of Firefly. <laughs> And if that's what they're like, ooh boy. That ghoul mask you can get is more useful than stim packs. Okay, don't don't spoil things for me though. I'm definitely gonna forget, but don't spoil things for me. <laughs> the sun moon 
in moons transform to day to night, but what transforms the mind? Excuse me? Are you friendly? I'm guessing not, but... Hi. They're not attacking me yet, so I'm not sure. I forget him because old man, but don't spoil. Exactly. You said it. Right there, you got it. You like quoted me. Mask is from regular Fallout 3? Okay, but I don't remember that. That's still like spoiling. <laughs> Can we hurry this along? I don't know until. I don't know you. What do you want? Latest rumors. No. Yeah. Good talk. Tell me nothing new. You as well. You have something to say to me? Master? Like the car? Ten Penny Tower? Oh, I remember Ten, ten Penny Tower. Yep. Oh, hi. Hey Mario, how's it going? I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Is this an ebony mine? It is. All right, these are never worth going through. Alrighty. Let us continue. Can I go just like up here? <laughs> oh, come on. Respect your elders. Wild Nordic? Is Wild Nordic about uh, Skyrim? Skyrim? Look at the sky. Still alive. Oh no. You know, I could probably use a levitate potion. What are you doing here? Hi, Mr. Claire Fraser. But um, but um, but um, but um. Oh no! Wait a second. Oh gosh. Forgot that gate is all the way around. How do they expect us to get in there? Ooh, door. Oh, okay. <laughs> My kids have uh, some of the Pokemon cards. They don't know how to play or anything, but they like reading all all of the stats and stuff. We've we've bought them like books, uh, like Pokemon encyclopedia type books, and they love them. It gets them to read, so which is a really good thing. Because when I was a kid, I w I don't like reading really, 
but I used to get magazines in the mail, and man, I'd read those like a few times through. This is how you raise your kids, right? That's right, right? <laughs> um, back in the day, I used to get Nintendo Power. I used to get that. I used to get Game Pro, Electronic Gaming Monthly, um, and then eventually, like they had, uh, they had ones like um, Official Xbox Magazine. I feel like there was like one other one that I used to get. Game Informer or something like that. Nintendo Power and Game Pro. Yeah. I know. And it's so sad, like, that they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Nintendo Power, I think, would do well. But in the digital age, I, 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 I don't know how much people would would want it. But um, Nintendo Power, I think, would, would do well. Game Pro, I'm not sure. Oh, it's another one of these places. Is this just the other side? Hi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the... This is a glass mine. Huh. <laughs> nice, dude. I... And if I got one of those, I would read those like... Because you would get like one a month, right? And... Um, I would read them through like three times. And sometimes, I don't know which one it was. You might remember. Which one was it that used to come with the demo discs? Because that was awesome. That was really cool. Remember Nintendo Power? It was sad when it was dis uh, discontinued. I got Nintendo Power. I remember my brother's... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait. What? Look at that. Oh, okay. This, this is an actual inc ancestral team. I would almost consider it getting whichever ones are still around. Just so I could get something in the mail. <laughs> Cause all I ever get in the mail now is the occasional bill. Other than that, it's just like a bunch of a bunch of uh solicitations. Sneak increased to thirty one. Beautiful. Hey, I'm busy. Whoa. If you're here, I wonder what else is in here. I would just get game before my target or something at random stores if I saw them. Nice. Uh, I, I used to... I had subscriptions like that I would get them in the mail from... Um, for Nintendo Power and for um, eventually for official Xbox magazine, the game pros and the EGMs and the game informers I would get at like GameStop when I used to like going into GameStop when they didn't make me feel like I was stupid. Um, yeah. <laughs> but then you could get those like everywhere. Um, every now and then I would get them from like a CVS. I don't know if you know what that is, but that's like a pharmacy. Um, but they used to have a really good selection of, of magazines and stuff. A couple of my favorite Pokemon cards are, also, are a Hollow Reverse Mewtwo, Hollow Reverse Kel Keldeo, I don't know what that one is, and the original Gen 1 Bulbasaur. Oh, nice. Hey, you're in California. Sweet. Yeah, uh, yeah, like those are the... They carry, like, everything. I like Walmart. But, yeah, like, they would have them at Target. But, yeah, like, back... I mean, this is, like... I was, like, 12, 13 at the time, so... If my parents went to the pharmacy or something to, like, pick something up, I'd always go to, like, to uh, the magazine section to see, like, well, what's out that I don't have? <laughs> I love that. And, like, they didn't mind it because it's, like, back in the day, they were only, like, 4 or $5, and I would read that so much, and they're, like... Well, it makes them... Well, I mean, it gets them to read, so... I think I got Game Informer from Rite Aid. N yep, and I I know what Rite Aid is. Yep, we have that here, too. <laughs> CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, 
Um, I think that's all we have now. A lot of them have gone out of business or they've been bought by places like CVS. Or Walgreens. Walgreens is huge up here. There's like one around every corner. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like if you have to sit there to wait for, for your prescription to be done you know you can just take a look at the at all the magazines and it's funny because that's kind of like where they usually are i think they're usually like nestled between like the pharmacy area and then it was like the magazines and then the snacks <laughs> hello huh that's weird i, I would have thought that there would have been like a dagoth or something in here with how we saw a uh, dra Draymoth or whatever they call them. Bems. Hello, Bems. Shrine of the Tribunal. Can I use that for free in here? Stuff that is way too heavy to take with us. N you have to make a donation. There is no one here to collect the donation. Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so speaking of Pokemon, uh, my wife started playing it again last week, and um, she like took like a week off of it, and <laughs> she was trying to catch a bunch of Eevees so that she could evolve them and get the evil evolutions and I I think she only has like one or two left to get but what was happening is that she would literally go like where like route four or something and just stay in there for like an hour or two just trying to get one and she couldn't she's like these, these things are so rare my um my niece who's like 11 years old, c came over like last week. And my older daughter, who's like nine, is like, hey, so we've been playing through Pokemon and mommy's been trying to get um, an, an Eevee and she can't find them. And, she, and like she's like, oh, well, she just has to go to Route 4. And she's like, she has, she's been there for hours. It's crazy, this and that, blah, blah. And then and then my niece goes, oh, well, if, if you just leave and go to Turfragut or something like that, just go in there and then go right back. It resets it. So, and then maybe you have a better chance of getting it. My wife started playing the game again on Friday night. And she got like, she's played it like four hours maybe since Friday night. And she's found like seven. <laughs> and all it was, was that she didn't know that she had to reset the, the, uh, the uh, area, which I'm like I'm I'm sorry that I that I didn't think of that, but I'm like that's a thing. That's like it'll reset an area if you leave and then go back, if something's not there. It's kind of like an RPG thing, especially with the ones that are like turn based and stuff like that. These kids know know the tricks, right? Which game? Pokemon Sword. They're evil. Thing. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I'll I'll let her know that that uh, you uh, said that because because what's funny though is that she's she's getting super excited that she keeps on getting them and I'm like I'm like if I were you I'd be really upset that like you played like she so when she had started to look for the Eevees it was like a month month and a half ago and at that like she's played like thirty or forty hours and hadn't found one and then all of a sudden now she finds them like all the time like every half hour. Or like not even half hours sometimes it's like 15 minutes the kids are these kids are evolving faster than we did when we were kids exactly oh my gosh but it was funny and it was cool because we don't we don't get to see that niece all, all that often so it was cool that like you know they got to talk about the game and my kids love 
love Pokemon, so they'll talk about it all day. <laughs> but it was just funny. Like, she's like, oh, she just has to go out and reset. And they're like, huh? What's what's that? <laughs> Typically, Pokemon RPGs have random encounters, which means a random set of Pokemon arrive. When did they have the set encounters like that? Um, they're, they're not set encounters. It's just... Say if you can't find something. It's like this in other turn-based RPGs as well. Where if you can't find something or you're looking for a specific enemy to fight or something like that. You can reset the area by kind of leaving the zone and then coming right, right back in. And with something like Pokemon where it's all about catching the uh, different Pokemons and things like that. It's a lot easier. Regen, how's it going? Oh, I didn't realize that... I didn't realize it was you that I was talking to. How's it going? <laughs> you, you're glad you gave up that franchise? Seem, seems fun to me. I've never played it, but I like to watch my family play it. Like, like I'll just sit there and have fun watching. Because there's so many different Pokemons. <laughs> Shiny Espeon and Shiny Sylveon are cute. Uh, when they're shiny, though, isn't it just... Isn't it just the, um... Like, does their skin a actually change? I didn't realize that. I think it counts as Pokemon that are always random in certain locations. Okay, yeah. So that makes sense. And in certain Pokemon versions. What was cool, too, is that... Um... There... The, like, what was it? The Lake of forget what they call it but they went to some lake and depending on what the weather is you'll find a different evolution there you haven't played the newest one so I'm not up to date on their outdated design hey it works <laughs> the original Pokemon games it was completely random you normally didn't have Pokemon showing up out of the grass The shiny Gira dose? The, the, uh, yeah, it was like the Lake of Outrage or something like that, right? What the heck is trying to attack me? Oh, it's a, it's a rat. Like, oh, it does? I feel like it didn't change the way that they looked in Let's Go Pikachu. Because my wife got like three shiny, three shiny Pokemons in that. And I think that they just look the same. Lake of Rage has a set red. Gary? What? What is a set red? Also, Gary. Gary. Pikachu tend to not be as prevalent in their shiny form? Huh. Yeah, I think she got like... One of the little mouse ones. Are you kidding? I can't get through there? No! Oh, okay. I see. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Oh my gosh. Is this actually going to work? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> yeah, my kids like like Mew and Mew too. They've actually got like a a big plush Mew. They got one of those for Christmas. 
there's all all sorts of Pokemon stuff around my house. <laughs> it's Irvaware. Whoops! You know what I like? I like the Pikachu that that looks like it's mad. It's like it's like black, yellow, and pink, maybe. And it like smiles, but then it's like ah. <laughs> I think it belongs to like one of the teams that you fight, like Team Yell or something like that. Nope, 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 up, up. Hop, 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 like a bunny. Okay. The song didn't work. Hey, Reaper, how, how's it going? Still playing this game. <laughs> what? So, so by sharp? What does by sharp look like? Hey, and how has that been going? Also, did you see that Ninja Gaiden? It might be black is coming to PC. Come on. So much shaking. What's a making? Whoa, you're still alive. It's a shotgun like fella with tons of sharp blades across him. Oh. Where are they usually found? Sandus? Ancestral tomb. Yeah, but it's like, it's much more difficult, right? Uh, Reaper, I'm I'm surprised that you're not playing the um, the DLC for Doom. Eternal. Oh, Pawnyard, huh? I've never heard of that one. Okay. Whoa! Three Bone Lords. Okay. We gotta repair, I think. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Dizzy, how's it going? How are ya? <laughs> so, auto mod is kind of aggressive sometimes. Um,. <laughs> Apparently it didn't it didn't like the word licking. I don't know why. <laughs> Waiting for all of them to come out, which they have, so it'll be very soon when I'm gonna put sweet. Yeah, I've been uh, seeing that that's one of like the hot things lately. Wooden door. Yeah, I'll come back. Hey, there you are. I, I, I knew you were somewhere around here. Yes. Oh. It's Venus. Bug lamp. That must be for the mosquitoes. 
playing Hollow Knight along with Morrowind? Hey, it's a bit challenging. Yeah, I, yeah, I've uh, heard. I actually uh, purchased that game a while ago. Saint Zatha's Judgment? Oops. But yeah, that's one of those games that I bought and just haven't played yet. I should put it on my list. I really like the look of it. It's got like this like, um, almost like silhouette-ish type look to it. I don't know. That's probably the wrong word to describe it, but I like the way that it looks. It, it's pretty and very, um, like artsy looking. Probably going to be the end of the Doom franchise, the Doom guy story. Uh, do you think that they're going to go with a female protagonist? Like how they said for, I think for Eternal, like they were almost going to have a female instead of Doom guy. I forgot that my helmet is, is heavy armor. That it's always weird when I see that my heavy armor has gone up. Notice that the people who did the theme for the new Pokemon season, Pokemon Journey season, is a band Walk Off the Earth. Never heard of Walk Off the Earth. I think my kids already watched all of the new season. Just remember the hack to use the boots of blinding speed. Can can you tell me like what that is? I've I've heard of it, but is that is that so is that not really an item you can find? If it's a hack? Do I need a hack also he's he has fat the fast boots? Fast boots? I am wearing glass boots. Boots and pants and boots and pants. It's a unique item that you get when you do one of those overworld quests. Oh, Wait a second. Have I ever watched BattleBots? No, I have not. I think that was when I was an adult already that that came out. Yeah, probably, but finally the story of the Doom Guy has ended. It took 28 years. Look at that. <laughs> Makes you 100% bl blind and gives you huge speed. Oh, really? I don't know if that's worth using. Although it sounds like it would come in handy during a speed run. You help a red guard girl go to a place for free fast boots. They give you plus 200 to your speed stat. Oh. I don't think they're really getting rid of the of Doom Guy. Um, it's kind of just ending his story. But 100 points of blind. Can you do something to make it so and then you don't have like you don't have blind? It's worth using for one reason. Iron Warhammer. Blind is glitched, which makes you have a chance of hitting more instead of less. <laughs> Whoa, really? Sounds like Bethesda to me. I don't know. It sounds like a feature. Like, a story is complete, nothing left to add to it. I guess so? You never know, though. Dude, you are... Oh. I'm like, you're taking a million hits. It's because my weapon needs to be repaired. It's my own fault. Dead body. 19 gold on it. Thank you Ooh, this one looks different. Hmm. I typically use a resist magica effect to lower the con of blindness. That makes sense. Final DLC for Doom Eternal finally completes the revenge story of the Doom guy. Okay. The voice actor for Stitch from Lilo and Stitch is also the creator for that specific character. Wow. Is that a flame matronach? 
He's trying to set the door on fire. Makes about like it gives you 50% resistance to magic up for one second. Put on the fast boots, you know, have 200 speed and 50 points of blindness. Which means 50 points of accuracy. But it says, but it, it says 50% resistance to magic up for one second. Is that also what's broken? Yep, it's a flame matter knock. I knew it. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. We're good. The revenge story to avenge something. It is believed that it was Daisy. Uh, Daisy was what? His wife or something? Or, or like daughter or dog? Daisy is Zoom Guy's bunny that was killed at the end of Doom 1. <laughs> what? Are you making this up? <laughs> that doesn't seem like it would fit for the story? Hmm. 30 pounds. Come on. <laughs> Not the bunny. The bunny gets the pancake. The cat gets the milkshake. Or the kitty gets the milkshake. Did I open these? Yes. The kitty gets the milkshake. The bunny gets the pancake. My kids watched that like a few weeks ago. <laughs> it's a good movie. Ten oh six. I gotta wrap things up soon. I really wanted to get to this area. North. Before we stop. Doom guy getting revenge for his bunny being killed reminds me of how Keanu Reeves' character went out to get revenge for his dog. Are you spoiling a movie for me? I already knew that about the movie, but, I've not, but I haven't seen those movies yet. Now, I won't say what movie it is either. <laughs> that's one of those movies that's on my list it's just it's very hard lately to watch any movies because my kids <laughs> for some reason now just never want to fall asleep until like 9 o'clock so it's very difficult and those are things that we don't want them to see they're too young Crazy saw Daisy's head on a spit. There's multiple theories on why Doom Guy wants revenge. That's one of them. Another is that he lost his son from demons. Okay, that the second one makes more sense. Okay, ouch, ouch. Wow. But it is video games, so. Also, video games made in the 80s. <laughs> Hi, are you going to attack me? You're going to attack me, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm over encumbered. Uh oh. You know what? They're, they're just going to have to hold on while I repair my weapon. Never mind. Oh. Oh. 
Three to one, I can even fight. I am, I, I am not Doom Guy though. You will die. Oh gosh, and I'm almost out of stamina. Oh. I didn't realize that. I thought, I thought you were just saying like, uh, the situation. Seems even. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, finally. And you now! Oh, thank god. Yeah, I'm fine though. We have our, um, our Dwemer crossbow, but we ran out of bolts so long ago. Ooh, it is getting cold down here. It was nice out today, too. It was like 64 at one point or something, but it is absolutely freezing in my basement. All right, let's see if we can take a restore fatigue. Okay, let's go this way. It snowed earlier and rained? Wow, really? I think we might be done with snow here, but then again, we've gotten snow in May before, so. Elith Palmine. Hi. This looks like an ebony mine. Okay. Nose is all itchy. It's also time for, uh, for allergies. Woohoo! Okay. We're getting close to where I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought maybe you just really like limes. Athletics is now 70. Also, I forgot to um repair. Let us repair. Boom. Okay. I can have you beat. My weather can be whatever it wants to be. Snow on summer. Heat wave in winter. Hail in the middle of March. <laughs> Oof. Yay! That's not nice. You know what's funny is that usually, like when we get hail, it's usually during the summer. Alright, this place should be like somewhere right around here. They said it was south of Zergonobol. Is there a reason why this is glowing like this? Ow. 
I hope it skips spring and goes right into summer or hot out. Yeah, here as well, we only get like maybe a month of spring. And usually our springs are very uh, messy. A lot of rain, a lot of mud, sometimes snow. Like it's sad that even like even once we get to Memorial Day and stuff, we're still kind of fighting through a lot of like our our weather. <laughs> That's not so great. And Memorial Day is like when things like beaches and stuff tend to start ramping up. All right, there's a bone walker here. Got to be careful. That's the lab. Hey, whoa, hey, 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 stop it. Ow. Man down. Live in a bluegrass state, so there's agriculture galore. Trees as far as the eye can see, and flowers blooming in any color you want. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. And the occasional lawn gnome. <laughs> I'm going to go this way first. We'll come back. All right, another one of these dudes. Oopsies. I don't want those. Sounds like I'm still in battle. That's odd. There is no escape. Oh, you're naked. It's a sexy party. Okay, does not appear to be anything worth taking. Some enemy is stuck trying to chase me. Stuck in the wall in the wall, maybe. Yeah. Uh usually last year was kind of odd. We had a lot of 90 degree days. I don't know if it ever hit whoa, if it ever hit a hundred last year, but Yikes. Ugh, my nose is so itchy. Let's heal up. Restoration is now 28. We're now free to move about the cabin. Don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. Oh, another sexy party.
Uh, locked. And this one's just a small chest. I will take it. Nice one. <laughs> oh. Yo, 401 gold! Wow. Yeah, that sounds bad. Seventies or eighties isn't bad. It's it's, but yeah, like the humidity is no bueno. And honestly, I don't really go outside a whole lot, so uh, it mostly concerns me for my kids, just because we don't want them to get like a heat stroke or anything like that. I'm assuming Montana must get pretty cold because um, I'm assuming that it's mountainous. But that's the only reason why I think that they're super cold. Man. Okay. This way? Said it was south of Zirganopal. Tin Ahi. Oh, is this it? Tall rock spires. Two rock spires. I ain't seen no rock spires. I'm looking for the va uh, the place, the Valley of the Winds. I think I'm actually gonna leave it here for tonight. Um, it's only 10:22, but I want to make sure that I'm not getting myself as tired as I did last week, because last week was rough to get through because I got so tired. But um, this is also a good place to stop because I am kind of lost, but I think we're making good progress. Hold on. <clears throat> he had to die. <laughs> nice. Cool. <laughs> All right, Shadow. Take care, man. And everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I hope you had fun. We made a lot of progress, I think. Um, I think we're making our way towards the end of the base game from the way it feels. But who knows? Whenever I get feelings like that, we usually have like 10 to 20 hours left. So... Buckle up. It's going to be probably another week or two of Morrowind, I would think. Uh, but yeah, having a really good time with it. I love playing it. I'm always looking forward to playing more. And um, hope you all are enjoying. And uh, hope you all have a great night. And hopefully I will see you next time. Peace.